Hey guys, Pete here from Pete's Tools. Awesome to see you here again. Another beautiful day in the South Pacific, as it always is. Yeah, right, Pete. Hey, uh, anyway, guys, uh, today I want to talk about drilling little holes in, in plate. Um, I had to drill about 50, like, half-inch holes in some plate, and I didn't want to drill them because I hate using the drill. So I thought I'd just uh, plasma cut them, but they had to be a little bit tidy, you know. So I thought, how the hell am I going to do this? So uh, I thought if you hold a pattern down and you dr draw around it with your plasma torch, it gets a bit ugly looking. So I thought, I'd, what do I need? So I did some research and I come up with these, these rare earth magnets. I thought, oh yeah, we'll use them, we'll stick them on the thing and we'll just trace around them and you don't have to drill holes in anything to hold it down and, and we'll be into it. But um, yeah, it didn't actually work out the way I thought it would. Um, anyway guys, have a look at the video, tell me what you think and always remember to subscribe, like, drop me a comment, just come and say good day, and you might know more about bloody magnets than what I do. Anyway guys, watch the video and have a look. So what I needed to go, guys, I was working on a chassis on a truck and I had to drill about 50 bloody holes, about half an inch or so, and I didn't want to drill them because they're a pain in the ass. I hate bloody drilling into that sort of thing, so I thought I'd use my plasma cutter. But how the hell am I going to do it? When I normally do little holes in plate like this, I uh, normally just use some sort of template like this and just try and cut around it, of course. But you're going to get a lot bigger than that thing, but I find it really difficult to cut around it like this. I don't know if you guys do it like this or what, but, but um, this is what I do. As you can see, that gets really hot, and your cut gets really ugly like that. And you'd be better off just doing it freehand. So we'll try and do the same thing. We'll do it bloody freehand, eh? It would be a lot better than doing it like that, because you can't hold this down here and hold your finger on it and then cut around it. Well, I can't anyway. I'm not that good. So if we draw a chalk line around it like so, but you're still getting a lot bigger than the thing, than the original template. But at least you've got some line there that you can see. And we can try and uh, cut around that. It'll probably be a bit tidier than this anyway. So we'll have a go at that. As you can see, that's a bit tidier, that hole, um, than the first one, but it's still pretty bloody ugly. So I thought to myself, there's got to be a better way of doing that without having to hold something, something that you can put on there and just trace straight around. So I uh, did a bit of research online and I come up with these. This is what they call a rare earth magnet. Now I reckon this is about as rare as what a friggin' wino is in a liquor store, but anyway, you know how it is, they do it to sell the things and it's really rare as, so I thought, oh yeah, that, that'll work. So I got some of these, actually, and I got one and I put it like this. I put a bolt through it like so. So it's exactly the same as this one. I put a bolt through it, just through here, Straight through there, put a nut on there so I could, um, so it's easy enough to pull it on and off whatever you do. Little magnet like this has got some really wicked pulling power. So I thought if I just stuck that on my work like that, and I put my plasma torch around it and cut around it, I could cut almost perfect holes. And then I don't have to drill a hole to do it again. I just pick the thing up and stick it there and drill another hole. Stick it there and do another hole and stick it there and do another hole. I thought, geez, you're brilliant, Pete. You're absolutely brilliant. Um, these things have got a lot of grunt, look. See that? Look at that. That little magnet pulling up the sheet. It's quite amazing, really. On that little magnet. Yeah, so I was quite impressed with the sticking power of these things. I thought, right, I'm into it now. I can cut almost perfect holes and I can do them really quick. And uh, different size magnets like this. This is a little penny one. I can use that. And then I've got little ones again. I can do all sorts of things. So I brought all sorts of different sizes, a little one again, a little little baby one here, so we'll stick that on there and we can do even smaller holes, see, by the time you take your torch into account, you do smaller holes, bigger holes, pull them up, pull them down, that's brilliant, I thought, jeez Pete, you're one smart cookie, but I run into some major problems that I didn't really expect, and I'll show right, you. I thought I'll put a nice new consumer in and I'm going to get a nice perfectly round cut circle. So this is awesome, this is going to be really good, it's going to save me a lot of time, a lot of effort. So I put my new consumables in like that, like so, put the new uh, tip in like that. Alright, we're ready to rock. We're ready to rock and ready to roll. Right, let's just do a quick test cut to make sure my torch is all working properly. Beautiful, no worries at all. Right. 
Now let's get the idea that Pete had and put the magnet on there. Make sure we're cutting underneath, cutting into the table. So we've got the magnet on here like so. See, it's, it's pulling the steel around. It's quite strong on there. It's really good. I'm actually impressed with these magnets, but uh, not especially for this job. Right, so now all I've got to do is go around there like so. Don't even have to hold it like that and almost cut a complete round perfect circle. Right, let's do it guys. Notice what's happening here. That's what happened to my uh, perfect circle there. See that? It's no more a perfect circle than what I did freehand almost. And um, what it's doing is the tip here is almost buggered already. Can you guys see that? See how that has got all horrible? You guys see that the tip here? The tip is actually melting to the steel. It's buggered that tip. And it's, um, I only used it in that little circle there. It's absolutely crazy. The, the tip is sticking to the steel. Now I couldn't figure out why. And um, it's something to do with the, the magnetics in this magnet. It's pulling the arc of the plasma to one side of uh, it's what I feel anyway. Because it's sticking like friggin... It's sticking like there's something stuck on here. I actually tried even putting a bit of oil on here and tried to get it thinking that it still wouldn't cut properly. And uh, it's because, I had a look online, the magnetic field of in these magnets is pulling the plasma to one side, I think, and it's um, buggering the tip almost instantly. So that idea really sucks shit, eh? It's, um, <laughs> that didn't work at all. I'd be better to do it freehand. But I learned something. And I also learned that these so-called magnets whatever they're called, the rare earth magnets they've got some silicon or something in here and when you heat them up they, it melts and then your magnet doesn't become a magnet anymore it just falls off here which is also kind of sucky really so I thought I might get away with it if I use one of the other magnets like one of the penny ones so I, uh, I'll grab one of those penny ones and I'll show you that so here's a penny magnet and I thought oh yeah that's just a solid magnet I should be able to do it with that then at least the uh, silicon won't meld out of it, and if I can get the, the thing not to grab, I might be able to do a complete circle with that. So we'll try one of these on there. So that looks like a solid magnet. So if I can just manage to go around there, just manage to go around there, which is not that hard, you wouldn't think, would you? you just scoot like that and just go around. That's pretty easy, eh? Trace around that, you get a pretty good circle. All right, let's try. Look at that disgusting hole in there. So much for that theory, it's absolutely horrible. See what happened then? Look, this magnet is no longer a bloody magnet. It just, it buggered the magnet as well, plus it didn't cut the steel. So that's very sucky, it's freaking hot, but look, it won't stick to anything, look. See on there? Look, that should be sticking to there. Should be sticking to there. What? Look, straight off. It just demagnetized the whole lot, so not only does it not work, it buggers your magnets as well. And um, even if the ones, the well, even these these penny ones, these penny ones must have some sort of silicon or gel or something inside them that just melts and it just they're not magnets anymore. They just don't work. Uh, it just doesn't work, it's just not magnetic anymore, which sucks. So anyway, that goes my theory, guys. Um, I thought I was on a winner then. I thought I can cut some really flash little holes really quickly and cut them on any angle because the magnet would stick to it and all the rest of it. But all I ended up doing was um, buggering the tip. So what I've learned, guys, is trying to cut little circles with magnets sucks. And all it does is bugger your tip. 
you took will last for 10 seconds flat, you can't control it on your workpiece, and the whole lot sucks really. That's the moral of the story, don't try and cut circles with magnets with your plasma cutter. If you know why it doesn't work, drop me in the comment box and tell me, because I'm bloody sure I don't, I thought I'd come up with a brilliant idea, but obviously not. Anyway guys, that's about, <laughs> that's about it for the day, it was my disaster in cutting the little holes. But uh, anyway guys, as per usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, just come and say good day. And if you've got a better idea of cutting little circles, as long as you don't have to drill it, I hate drilling it. Drilling sucks as far as I'm concerned. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time, bye bye.